in every system design interview you will be asked either directly or indirectly something related to the cap theorem it is a theorem which defines how we can design our distributed system especially distributed databases and this theorem was coined by eric breuer it is also called as breuer's theorem and it works on three fundamental concepts which we are going to understand today very basic concepts but in the interviews especially in your technical interviews interviewer might directly or indirectly give you scenarios where he will try to understand whether you have the conceptual understanding of this theorem and whether you can apply it in your system design so let's understand what is cap theorem and by the way i am anshul tiwari and this is it ke fun day where we make it interesting for everyone be it it or non it so if you are new please consider subscribing and if you get any value out of this video please don't forget to hit the like button let's get started so friends cap theorem states that in any distributed system we can only deliver any two of these three characteristics what are these three characteristics consistency availability partition tolerance as you can see in this diagram a venn diagram of sorts either we can choose consistency and availability and we have to uh, let go of partition tolerance or we can do with consistency and partition tolerance and let go of availability we have to make that trade off based on the requirement we have for the system based on the business case we have but first of all let's understand what it is exactly so what is consistency consistency means that whenever user is trying to connect to your system uh, he or she is always getting the latest data it is it is as simple as that the the data has to be consistent the data has to be accurate and that's what consistency is uh, all about availability is although data might not be exactly the accurate latest data but at least user gets back the response whenever he or she is trying to connect to a system they are getting a response and they are not uh, you know they are not seeing something like the service is unavailable so availability means providing you the service we might not be serving you the latest or the consistent data but eventually we'll make it consistent that's the idea and partition tolerance means that even if some part of my network some part of my system uh, like if i have a distributed system a b and c if the connectivity between these systems uh, are uh, broken is broken then a b and c can, could still continue to work independently that is called as partition tolerance so let's take a simple example uh, consider we have three different uh, mcdonald stores uh, in a in a city and we want to apply this cap theorem there so consistency would mean that the pricing all the burger prices all all the pricing which is being shown has to be consistent all in all the three stores availability means that there has to be certain section of your mcdonald uh, application which has to be available all the time for example ordering a service ordering ordering a burger or ordering for home delivery something like that and partition tolerance means that even if the three different stores are unable to communicate to each other because of certain network failure every store is functional and a user could directly connect to a store and order food item a very simple way of understanding it so this is basically cap theorem now we will take a simple uh, again a case study of uh, netflix not netflix exactly netflix but just imagine that it is a netflix kind of a service and we will see that in that kind of a microservices distributed environment what kind of um, characteristic we have to apply for what kind of service so that will give us more uh, context about it so friends let's take this simple case study to understand that if you are asked a scenario based question how you can uh, you know frame your answer for example let's take this netflix uh, case study a very simple case study we are taking it's not the actual architecture of netflix but suppose if a user is watching netflix uh, on his uh, laptop on the back end uh, he is actually sending request to an api gateway and that api gateway is connecting to you know respective microservices user profile content discovery playback service imagine these three are different microservices and uh, every microservice has its own underlying database so now let's understand that how cap can be applied first is user profile what is user profile user profile is about storing and managing user information everything about user uh, their preference their watch history 
so just think what, what will be the most important thing the most important thing is that it has to be consistent it has to be consistent and uh, with that it has to be partition tolerant so regardless of your network disruptions uh, it has to be consistent okay uh, even if your uh, for example your europe region is down even if the data is being served from asia pacific the user information has to be consistent and when you are when we talk about consistency we generally prefer sql databases i'm just na naming one database but any sql database can do the job so postgres for example because sql databases are asset compliant and they are very good when you talk about real consistency and when you want exact data to be replicated and shown all the time logic is inconsistent data can frustrate the user so basically if if for example user is logging into netflix and they are not seeing the data about whatever they want uh, you know from their user profile their watch history whatever if they are not able to do all that and get the accurate information they might get frustrated the second is content discovery now content discovery is all about storing and managing content information recommendation uh, engine kind of like when a user will log in what net netflix will recommend as uh, as a possible viewing content to the user now here you if you see consistency is not uh, like eventual consistency is acceptable okay uh, because uh, for example you want to recommend a new show okay and if for example uh, you know that particular uh, you know data is not available you can recommend anything else as well and later on when that data becomes available you can uh, you know showcase that as well so that's why availability is very important that you have to give a response if a user is logging in it should be that your whole window is empty and you're not recommending anything and you're just saying okay you just search it and uh, watch it on, on your own you have to recommend so availability is very important partition tolerance is very important uh, as i said uh, if, if a certain location is unavailable then from other locations the data has to be served for such kind of things no sql database like mongodb could do the job because consistency is secondary at this point of time so that's what the is the logic eventual consistency is okay but user i am i have uh, i have just uh, you know written it very concisely it ha user should be able to browse that browse the content and that will make them happy it's all about and uh, understand it from the user perspective the whole thing is about customer experience guys so when you are answering these questions you have to think about customer experience what will make customer happy and based on that you have to give your answers playback service is like user session data resuming so yesterday only i was uh, watching a famous uh, web series and i i watched it a week back and when i opened it it was so i was so happy to see that i was given directly the option to resume it from my screen now understand that how much uh, you know how much uh, uh, of a good experience it is that i am giving uh, i have been given an option that okay you just start from where you stopped last time so for that you need consistency you have to maintain that uh, playback information all the time so that whenever user logs uh, logs back in they should start from where they stopped and availability you have to give a response back and you have to maintain availability so for that consistency is important to resume playbacks and also availability is crucial so both of these are uh, crucial now for partition tolerant i nowadays we can you know we can do that uh, even even uh, right now we are using cloud and all that so for that we use data replication we replicate data we have cdn content uh, delivery network and also partition tolerance is more or less taken care of so but but if you have to design it you have to focus on consistency and availability more partition tolerance uh, is not that important so yeah so, so this is how you create your idea about designing distributed system you have to think logically about it and there is there could be different answers for different scenarios from coming from a different person so it could happen that uh, someone might differ but eventually if your logic is correct and your uh, your understanding of the case study is correct you could frame your answer correctly so guys this is cap theorem a very basic uh, theorem but very important in your interviews in your system design interview so i hope it was useful so if you like this video give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel and uh, share this video with others as well until next time keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now